guys, Ross here. Uh, I'm at Ribeye Boats HQ and uh, today we're, we're, we're next to our latest S650 that's come through our preview scheme. So the boat here is a, it's a 2004 hull um, with an Evinrude 200 horsepower. So as we're outside the boat, let's start with the once around. So like uh, every Ribeye S series, the tube is a Hyperlon. Uh, but what we've done, because it's a 2004 boat, we've replaced um, all the badges on the boat. So as you can see here, we've got brand new laser cut Ribeye Eye logos and we've done the same on the aft badges. Um, tube itself is in good conditions. There are a couple of wear marks uh, on the rubbing strake, um, but, but overall structurally very sound indeed. Looking at the hull, this boat um, has come from the River X, so near Exeter, and it did live on the X Marina. So we've applied a brand new anti foul as you can see. So what that means for you is, if you're looking to uh, you know get a rib for a mooring or a marina berth, this boat is ready to go straight in the drink. So some of the things we've been doing to tidy this boat, as you can see, we've got brand new uh, transom elephant trunks on here. Um, and also just looking at the condition of the stainless steel, things like the fuel water separator in this flash well. Everything is really, really tidy uh, and ready to go. So let's get inside the boat and have a look around. So like a lot of 650s in the UK, um, this boat's been specified from you with um, the, the, the twin jockey seats. So what this gives you is seating, or comfortable safe seating for seven behind the console. So great for your sort of British leisure boater that wants to do long coastal cruises because the 650 hull is fantastic in a big sea. So being behind the console, everyone's safe and secure, uh, and in the part of the boat which is moving less. Um, the back seat has actually been replaced, so we've got a nice new upholstered seat on the back base there. You've got your, your um, side throttle mount, um, so your, your throttle unit, so you've got trim which you can operate via your thumb. Um, hydraulic steering, it's a C star ram on here which feels really nice and smooth. Uh, and then you've got your, your, your compass and your engine gauges on the dash here, and a cup holder. Underneath the bow sunbed there's a large anchor locker, let's have a look. So it's a great drainable space for keeping your anchor. For me, I quite often put things like wet mooring lines and um, you know, wakeboarding impact vests in there as well, just to keep all the wet items together away from the other dry lockers. This is one of five lockers. So we've got one locker here, one, two, which underneath the, the front suicide seat there. There's access underneath the console uh, for your other locker there, that's your third locker. And then uh, you've got the jockey seat lockers and then the large locker underneath the back bench seat. Now my favourite thing about this boat for me, because I like to do a lot of mono skiing, wakeboarding and whatnot, is uh, the ski pole. So just got this out of the aft um, locker space here. This slots into this receiver here. So as we run that down there, you know, makes for a perfect turn point. And the 650 itself gives out a great wake. So if it's especially wakeboarding you're looking to do, due to the nature of the deep V hull, um, it really does allow you to kind of get up in the air uh, and crack on for a bit of water sports really. 650 for me, a great sea boat. Um, six and a half is a really manageable size, so if it's a first boat or you're looking to sort of part exchange and get into something a little bigger, get in touch and I'll be happy to tell you more about the boat.